everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kirsten and today we're going to be doing some cleaning motivation for your Sunday evening. So this is my power hour, this is basically what I do most days when Alfie goes down for his nap and I just try and get it all done in an hour. I think this took me maybe about an hour and a half because I did some extra bits today. But I just try and get it nice and tidy and clean for a week and back up again and messing it all up. So I thought I would take you along with me on my downstairs clean, it's just the living room, the kitchen and the downstairs toilet. Hopefully give you some motivation if you are needing to get some things done tonight. If you're lying in your bed or sitting on your couch and you need someone to give you a little boost then I hope this helps. So yeah, if you like these videos please comment, let me know, subscribe, give it a like and let's get started. This is the living room when Alfie goes down for his nap, it's a little bit of chaos, he likes to pull all of the toys out and he loves to play with this little kitchen um, but yeah I just let him play as much as he wants it's so quick to tidy up that I don't mind too much so I just start with popping the cushions popping all the toys away and yeah basically that room is almost done which is why it's my favourite to clean the first Now I'm definitely going to be doing more of these types of cleaning videos in the future and a lot of sort of cleaning motivational things. So please let me know if you like a voiceover for these videos, if you prefer me just to put the um, music over the top of it and speed everything up or if you kind of like a little bit of a combination like what I'm doing in today's video, let me know what you'd prefer down below in the comments. Now to clean this little unit, uh, sorry, table and the glass mirror tray, I'm using Fabulosa's Wild Rhubarb Spray. It smells so nice and it's such an easy to use disinfectant. Just um, filling up our little nappy caddy here with the wipes. It's just so handy to have one in the living room to save us always taking Alfie upstairs to get his bum changed. using this on the TV unit and the telly as well and I'm not cleaning out the TV unit or anything today it's not a deep clean it's just like my quick power hour if you do want to see a deep clean and how I do that then let me know and I can do that for you this cupboard does have a lot of junk in it so it could do with a deep clean to be fair so maybe that's the excuse that I need and yeah we're just going to finish with hoovering the carpet and the floor and giving it a little mop I'm always quite conscious about how clean the floors are because obviously Alfie spends a lot of time playing there and um, yeah with everything going on I do like to keep it nice and clean. He also eats there too, like if I give him a snack or whatever and he wants to play with his snack then he maybe just have his raisins or whatnot on the floor which is what he had this morning. So yes they get everywhere. It's a lot of work having a baby guys, like your house will never be the same let me tell you. <laughs> and homely again and a little bit more neat and organised and obviously I have to light some candles. I seized the opportunity when Alfie is sleeping to light some candles because obviously I don't light them when he's awake or else he'd burn his little fingers so yeah I always like to make the house smell nice whether it be candles or wax melts. for the downstairs toilet this is never usually that messy it just needs a little clean I always clean it every day because this would be the toilet that anybody like coming into the house or guests would use so I just give it a little wipe down and a bleach every day I do use wipes on this toilet purely because I mean it's just a sink in the toilet a I don't use cloths on the toilet anyway and that's one of Alfie's shoes who knows how that got in there <laughs> um, and B it's just so small that there's no point in me getting like a cloth out and bleach and bathroom spray and whatnot so I just use wipes on this downstairs toilet. And 
then just a little hoover and a mop and yeah that's the downstairs toilet finished. I do need to change that soap because that's a purple soap that's in here. I usually have a blue one but I've ran out so don't judge me for my soap not matching the decor. Now onto the kitchen. This is definitely a little bit messier than it normally is. So we've got the normal breakfast dishes but I've also got some dishes from last night that I couldn't fit in the dishwasher so I just decided to leave them um, to incorporate into this video. So yes, we have a lot to do in here. Crumbs and toys on the floor as per normal. This is the rhubarb spray I was speaking about, Wild Rhubarb, and it's by Fabulosa. It smells so nice. So I'm going to be using that today in the kitchen as well. And does anybody else clean their sink before they wash the dishes in it? I'm not sure if anyone else does that, but every single time I wash, I do that. Now this area here is a complete junk zone. It's a clutter zone. It tends to get filled with everything that we can't fit in cupboards or fridges etc. So today I thought was the day that I finally clean it out and organise it and make it a little bit more nicer to look at. I honestly love watching cleaning videos so much. They give me so much inspiration and motivation to just get up and actually do something. If I'm sitting on the couch and I'm feeling a bit meh, then I just watch a little cleaning video and then I feel so much more motivated to just get up and clean out a cupboard or do the hoover in or whatnot. So please let me know if you are watching this for some motivation right now and it has given you the motivation to get up and organise or clean your house. Please also let me know if you do want more of these videos. I really enjoyed filming it and I really love to watch them myself and I really would hope that you would like to see some more of these. So leave me a little comment or like the video to let me know. Again, if you'd like to see a deep clean of the kitchen, then let me know that. I definitely have far too much spices that I need to go through and sort out. Especially that cupboard up there is so crammed. It needs to be cleaned out and organised a bit better. So let me know if you'd like some sort of deep cleaning organisational video. subscription we get it from candle bell and you get nine wax melts every month and the first month you subscribe you get a free candle of your choice as well for only 14 pounds which i thought was amazing this is a selection that we got in the june box and this is my favorite one strawberry daiquiri ice so we're going to be using that today in the wax melt in the kitchen i just love the house smelling really nice and this one is so lovely it's really fruity and summery and it, of course it reminds me exactly of a frozen strawberry daiquiri so Alfie woke up early oh. from his nap today, didn't you? Yeah, the day that mummy decided to film. <laughs> So he's just going to have some lunch whilst I finish the rest of the kitchen. Hey, what are you having Alfie? You're having cheesy pasta. 
and some bananas and blueberries and some water. You're clever, you are. Are you going to do a big smile? Are you doing a big smile? <laughs> oh, is that your cheeky smile? forgetting that I've just made Alfie's dinner and that the cooker will still be hot. Mum brain, I guess it never goes away. <laughs> but I'm just going to be using that rhubarb spray on the cooker as well. It's honestly so handy to use. comes in lots of different scents too, but the rhubarb one's one of my favourite. Along with the lemon, I can't remember what it's called, maybe sweet lemon or something, but it's so nice. Our little sad football we need to go food shopping but always got to have a stock of bananas because I have to love them so much wall a little bit more than I would normally have it just because obviously we've not got any guests coming in or out just now. Clever boy! And the chairs too! <laughs> well done! So I'm using a product called Magic, I think it's called, to clean the um, table. It's so good, it's probably my favourite cleaning product that I've ever had. It's only £10 as well, so I'm going to leave a, li a link to it in the description box of where you can buy it. It's a total ride or die cleaning product. Not sure if this plant is dead. Um, Kel got me this for Mother's Day. Such a pretty plant when it's not dying, so better put some water in it. And also, I have not dusted these flowers in a really long time, so I thought I would just take the opportunity. Um, Kyle is actually taking Alfie out for a little walk, so I'm going to take the opportunity to give them a little dust and reorganise them. See, these are things that I'd probably do in a deep clean, but well, I mean, Alfie's still here just now, but he will be going in like one minute for a little walk. Um, these are things I'd be doing in a deep clean, but I just thought I would seize the opportunity and um, reorganise them. They are obviously fake flowers as well. Here 
is one of my favourite pictures from Alfie's newborn photo shoot. I love it so much. Here I am cleaning the French doors. They get really dirty really quickly, obviously, with Alfie licking them and putting fingers on them. And I'm going to be using the magic stuff again. It's really good for glass. I use it for all my mirrors, picture frames, inside of the windows, and like shiny surfaces like my table, etc. I think I'm going to use it on Alfie's little kitchen as well. We actually got this for free off of Facebook, and I'm going to sand it down, repaint it, and varnish it. And so, varnish it so that he can outside and it will be like weatherproof but I've not got around to that yet so for now it just stays there this is another little corner that's kind of harbour junk for a wee while that basket is just paperwork and some birthday bits that we still need to put away so I'm putting that upstairs and I'm going to pop a load of washing on as well and the boxes that were kind of wrapped in paper they were from Alfie's photo shoot that we done ourselves we did like a DIY cake smash so I just wrapped up some empty boxes and um, so I'm just going to take them out and pop them in the bin so we don't need them anymore. If anyone has tips on how to keep your high chair clean please let me know if it's a high chair like this you know with the plastic tray and the insert with the straps etc because I struggle so much to get all the food off of it Obviously you can pop the insert in the wash but I can't do that in between like meals because he needs it to be clean and dry for the next meal. So if you do have a high chair and have some great tips then please leave them down below. So I've just hoovered and now I'm just going to give the kitchen a mop and finally that will be it done. I feel like today it took a good while but we definitely got there in the end and I'm so happy that it's all nice and clean and tidy again. Ready for it to be messed up at dinner time. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more of these types of videos, then please subscribe to the channel by hitting the little button down below and click the bell notification to be reminded when I upload new videos. Like I said in the video, if you would like to see anything more in depth, so um, like a deep clean of the kitchen, living room, the bathrooms, anything like that, or you know, an organisational video, um, even routine videos with Alfie, if you've got like a little one similar age, Alfie's just, oh, just turned one there on the 16th of June. So if you would like to see anything like that then please let me know leave me a little comment down below and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in another video bye